and I must say that she indeed embodies the epitome of a successful Pinay who has made it abroad and is now back in the Philippines temporarily to share with us her countrymen uh, the knowledge she has accumulated in the eight years uh, she's been living in the United States. It's really part organic architecture because I talk about sustainable solutions and Frank Lloyd Wright's audio is also included in the book and he talks about what organic architecture is about. It's also part inspirational. I wanted to give not just the architect, not just the Americans, not just the Filipino people, but anybody who picks up my book. I wanted to inspire them, tell them that, hey, an ordinary person with ordinary background, you don't have to be very, very rich or come from a wealthy family to achieve your dreams. So I wanted to inspire people to pursue their dreams, that it can be done if you're willing to face everything that it takes, go with all that's in you to pursue your dreams. So it's also finding one's place in this world. As I reflected, see these, these graduates, the graduates that we have now, they went past college. They're reflecting what their place in this world is. So it's also helping them find their place in this world. I too went through the same thing. And I found my place in this world by becoming an architect, 